I would pick my grandpa Faust. He was a Korean war vet and spent about a year in the hospital after being seriously injured. He was also um, one of 14 siblings um, and also a, a, an identical twin. And my husband's an identical twin, so I was hoping to gather a little bit of information from him on that. I would say uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson. He's very introspective, um, obviously incredibly intelligent, observant. I think he'd be a, a great guy to, to talk with. It would be Martha Stewart. I love Martha. And she was one of the first people to really understand and take advantage of cross-promoting her own personal brand through all the different media outlets that she was in. And in addition to that, I don't think there's really a major retailer out there that she doesn't have some type of deal with to sell her own products. I would choose to have dinner with my great-grandma. And I, I really feel like when you're young, you don't appreciate your, you know, your elders and people in your family and there's so many questions I'd have for her or just find out her life, what she was about and so I really wish I could have go back and kind of talk to her a little bit. The advice that I would have for my 21 year old self would be to fail faster. I think that failing is an extremely important thing to go through in life. It's where you learn so many of your lessons. Um, there's a saying that if you're not failing, you're not trying hard enough. And so if I could go back to myself, I would say acknowledge that you've learned those lessons and move on more quickly. Uh, at age 21, I was very ambitious, excited, and ready to tackle life. Um, I wouldn't want to like take away from that excitement that I had at that age, but um, I, I, I'd want to make sure that I slow down and enjoy it. Um, because each one of those experiences make me who I will become. <laughs> Start networking early. Um, joining nonprofits, you know, getting to know people in the community, knowing your classmates. It's great to be really good at something and to be the smartest and the brightest and the best at something, but if nobody knows it, it really doesn't do you a lot of good. But the one thing I, I really thought of was don't be in such a hurry to get somewhere. You know, you're, when you're 21 or young, you're always trying to get ahead, do something, get a different job, move ahead, get married, have a kid, you know, all, all different things. And I feel like I would have just said, like, in the words of Aaron Rodgers, relax, just everything will be okay. My hidden or lesser known talent is cooking and baking. And my passion for cooking and baking came out of living in Madrid and having to cook out of necessity. I was living in an apartment with three Spaniards and they didn't have a microwave and they didn't have an oven, so I had to learn how to cook everything on a gas stove. I learned there and I took that passion home. It's a way also for me to spend time with my family. One of my favorite dishes as well is Valencian paella. We make a lot and we really enjoy it. My hidden or lesser known talent is tap dancing. Uh, when I was growing up, I took tap dancing lessons for 14 years of my childhood, as well as ballet and jazz lessons. And it also really just taught me a lot of other life lessons and skills along the way. Um, everything from memorization, attention to detail, to how to present yourself in public, the importance of staying physically fit, all of those things. My lesser known talent is making drinks. The drink that I'm going to be making today is a white chocolate martini infused with rose liqueur. But you get the fragrance of the rose, the sweetness of the martini, and then I throw in a little cocoa, unsweetened, and that bitterness kind of mellows it out. Cheers. Well, again, this was tough because uh, I have a lot of weird things about me, but as a hidden talent, I'm pretty much an open book, but I would say that I have beaten a lot of my friends and my friends' husbands in arm wrestling. Yeah, I've uh, rarely been beaten. I tend to take them down, they end up crying afterwards. 